Hi, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to customize your bookmark bar up here at the top in the Google Chrome browser. So one quick thing you can do is you can take a look at what's on your bookmark bar right here, and you can right click on any of these bookmarks, and I can click edit. And you can change the name that shows up next to the symbol. So if there's a symbol for a website that you're familiar with, like I know, for example, that this symbol is the Google Classroom symbol, I can actually just delete this name, Google Classroom. I can hit backspace. I can leave the name blank, and then I can click Save down here at the bottom. Now you'll notice at the top I got rid of the name, and now I just have the symbol. So this can save some space, and you'll be able to fit more symbols at the top for those sites that you have bookmarked. I can do the same thing again for YouTube here. I can click Edit. I can get rid of the name YouTube because because I'm familiar with the symbol and then make sure you hit save down here at the bottom. Besides getting rid of the name and just using the symbol, another quick tip is that you can grab these, just click and drag them, and you can actually move those in order that they show up on this bookmark bar. Next, I'd like you to look at the hidden bookmarks, and that's the two arrows that you see next to your bookmarks, and it'll show up as hidden bookmarks. You notice as you scroll down, you have quite a few probably unorganized bookmarks that are there. So let's look at how to organize those next. What you want to do is go to the three dots next to your profile picture and you want to go to bookmarks and then in bookmarks over here you want to go to where it says bookmark manager. Once you're in the bookmark manager you're going to see the bookmarks in the order that they show up up here at the top and you also see all the hidden bookmarks. Now to edit any of these bookmarks instead of right clicking it click on the three dots that are next to it. So if I wanted to edit this one and put in here GC as the name for Google Classroom. Now you can see that bookmark will show up as GC up here at the top for Google Classroom. If I wanted to get rid of that name again, I could just click edit and I could go backspace and save it without a name and it'll just be the symbol. If I do that for a folder that doesn't have a symbol, if I rename it, I get rid of this name tech and I hit save that'll just show a folder with no name. So that's not ideal if you don't have a symbol for it. And the other thing you can do is take some of these hidden bookmarks and move them up to the visible bookmarks. So I'm going to take Infinite Campus at the bottom as an example. I'm going to click and drag that up here near the top. It will move and scroll all the way to the top. Now I can put that Infinite Campus somewhere in, in this list. Be careful because it will actually drop into a folder if you drop it and let go of it right on top of a folder. But I'm, instead, I'm going to wait until I see the blue line. And when I see a blue line, that means it's going to drop it there. Now it's showing up on my bookmark bar up here at the top. Now, again, to save space, I'm going to edit this, and I'm going to get rid of the name. And I'm going to hit Save to do that. Now I just see the infinite campus symbol. I can click on it. I can drag it over here. And I'm just going to put some symbols all next to each other. If you'd like to create a new folder to drag some of these bookmarks into, you can click the three dots that are up here and you want to click add new folder. Then give the folder a name. I'm just going to call this new folder as an example. And the new folder will show up at the bottom of your list. Then what you can do is you can click any of these links and you'll be able to drag those into the new folder. The new folder will also show up on the left hand side here. You'll see it right here. And you can add that new folder if you'd like to an existing folder. You can move that around and you can create folders and subfolders within the folders. So if I take this tech folder, for example, and I click on the tech folder, I can see what's in the tech folder, but I can also create a new folder, add new folder. It's going to add a new folder. I'm going to call this new folder 2. The new folder 2 then would show up inside of the tech folder. So as long as you select one of the folders here, you can create a subfolder underneath it. So I hope this video was helpful to you in organizing your bookmarks a little bit. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. You can always email me at kbolendorf at fleetwoodasd.org. And until next time, have a great day.